Which did I like particularly? Um, you know, I didn't do all that well in terms of accomplishments, but I thought that uh, the, the automobile extrication was really, really interesting because I learned that there's so much technique involved and that you really, after, after a while of, of doing these things, you quit watch, watching the guys and listening to tips. They knew, they knew exactly what to do next. Give you guys credit for the shape that they're in to get out there to do this. And, and the number of personnel. I mean, if you roll up on the scene, it's you know you're only in a one one inch company, three personnel. Right. If you're lucky, three. What do you think about that? I mean, you know. Well, yeah, that's, it takes that's, a while. It takes a while, and, and, and to coordinate everything and have some person down to be on the ground, it it obviously is going to take multiple um, multiple trucks on site. Uh, it's amazing, you know, because the big question we've had is in in East County is uh, why do we need to respond to medical? And car accidents, and uh, now, now, now you know why. If you have an opportunity to take to take part in this, um, I would strongly recommend that you you, you come quick and uh, make sure you're first in line because this is a an eye-opening experience for all of us. I think and, into what really what did you take away from this exercise? Um, how complicated cars are. gas charges for the seat belts, uh, for the uh, airbags, and uh, how dangerous those can be in a situation like that. Um, what you need to do in terms of uh, stabilizing the patient, making sure that, that they know um, that you have an assessment of what their condition is, and more importantly, whether it's deteriorating while, while you're there. Well, it, it's, it's interesting because out in East Contra Costa, among the fire board out there, we just moved a bunch of our stations to three persons per engine rather than two. Uh, I can't imagine responding to that with just two people. Hey, this being an impossible, an impossible situation to control. Three makes it makes it a whole lot better, and I now understand why you have multiple engines and trucks on a uh, on the scene, because we just need that number of personnel to deal with the, uh, with the auto accident. Because we were just dealing with one car, usually there's two or three cars involved. How much your exposure to the equipment? Um, it's a whole lot heavier than I thought, and uh, you know it's one of those things that I've always wanted to do. Uh, but I have to tell you, holding that uh, in two or three different positions, um, I have an appreciation for strength training. Oh yeah. <laughs> And it got hot, and I can understand why hydration is so important. So, if someone has asked you about your experience, what would you tell me? Uh, With auto, uh, in regard to auto exploitation? Um, All things considered. I think it's a whole lot more complicated than people think. And uh, uh, I think it's an experience that a lot of people ought to, uh, ought to go through just because. Uh, like I said a minute ago, so many times when you're driving past on the freeway and you see a lot of people around there, you don't you don't appreciate what's involved in uh, dealing with an auto accident. 